what's up everybody Chad here for yet another video in the Tacoma and as you can tell by the title and probably by my expression I am super super happy and excited so uh, that is obviously because I've officially paid off the Tacoma uh, after having it for almost four years uh, the truck is officially 100% paid off and a title for the truck will be coming my way uh, very very shortly so uh, it's been kind of a wild ride just kind of thinking back about it because uh, when I made the final payment the other day I was thinking about how wow you know a lot has changed since I had purchased the truck uh, back in 2016 so uh, obviously my 2016 Tacoma is the uh, first year of the third generation model Tacoma and uh, what a cool generation it is lots of changes were made and I have obviously gone over that to uh, quite some extent over the uh, years that we've done these videos on the truck but after several years of modifications and uh, different parts pieces and uh, the orange virus tune that's been added to the truck it has become quite a nice machine for me I love how I've built out the truck um, and even though I'm wanting to take away some parts and pieces from it um, I've liked what it has turned into um, it's been a really really fun machine uh, piece of equipment that I've gotten to drive around that I've been lucky to call my daily driver and sole vehicle that I've been driving for the uh, past several years so uh, what you all may be wondering and even what I'm wondering myself is what is next so uh, you know that we do keep you all uh, very much in the loop about things that are going on in the channel uh, in our lives uh, with our vehicles and we you know sometimes have some surprises and things that do come around uh, uh, every once in a while that keep you all on your toes uh, but uh, that is still going to be continuing because I am guaranteeing Without a doubt, I'm going to be adding something to my fleet for the first time ever. Uh, you know, I, well, I shouldn't say ever because uh, we did have the Toyota Land Cruiser that my father and I had found uh, quite a few years ago that did become a uh, shortish, long-term vehicle for the channel uh, that ultimately uh, became Bandits, and then we had sold because you know we had our fun with that project, off-roaded it, and really recuperated and rejuvenated that entire uh, uh, vehicle. So now though, uh, I don't have anything else in my fleet because uh, I live in an apartment here in Raleigh, North Carolina, and uh, I, I love the area, love my job, and it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, time in life for me. But now that I've paid off my truck, of course, I don't want to incur any other payments. You know, I, I'm, I'm happy that I don't have any more monthly payments for the truck. Uh, after you know doing some lump sum payments and whatnot and finally the uh, final payoff amount for the Tacoma now uh, obviously having had that paid off it's gonna be enjoyable not having that uh, vehicle payment uh, coming due every month so uh, now this makes me wonder you know is this a good time to add like a used vehicle to the fleet it, I, I kind of want something fun like I'm not really quite sure what's gonna be next um, one thing that I will say though, however, is uh, driving a truck around in this area with short trips and then, you know, some longer trips, it's not necessarily the most ideal daily driver. Now, I'm not saying that it's not enjoyable to drive. I love the truck and everything, but it makes me wonder, you know, would it be fun to get some sort of uh, sedan of some sort? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of looking more towards something that was a manual transmission. And, uh, you know, I may have mentioned it just briefly in some videos that I've done in the past, but uh, and some of you watching the video will know, but uh, when I originally wanted to get my third gen Tacoma, I wanted a manual transmission. I really, really wanted to row my own gears, control everything, and uh, unfortunately, uh, I was not able to get that specific configuration with my truck. Um, I was only able to get an automatic transmission. Um, they don't make the double cab long beds in a manual transmission. They never have. Um, unfortunately, it's not a very popular combination, and I guess Toyota decided, hey, we're not going to do it for the third gen either. Uh, so, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that, and I wanted to have the utility of a six-foot bed versus a five-foot bed, which honestly is pretty tiny. So, um, but that was okay. Um, it, it worked out all right, and I, I love the truck, uh, and it was wonderful and has been wonderful for me. So, um, thinking more towards something with a manual transmission, I, I want something that's going to be fun. Uh, in that regard just makes you feel a little bit more connected to the vehicle and I, I think 
They're manuals. They're a blast to drive. Any opportunity I get, I drive my brother's 2014 WRX, and that that is a fun car to drive. I'm not going to even lie about that. So, um, you know, always looking out to see what is going to be next, what I can possibly add to the fleet. So, uh, you know, if you all have any suggestions uh, <clears throat> about a four-door sedan with a manual transmission that you think would be really fun to add to the channel and add to my own specific lineup for another daily driver um, or just some fun car to drive on the weekends. I'm open to any suggestions. So um, if you all have any of those, please do drop them below. And of course, questions, comments, and thoughts always welcome there below. So I thank you all so much for watching. Have a grand, grand, fantastic, <laughs> gosh, that was a funny word. Uh, have a fantastic rest of your week. And of course, stay safe. We're thinking about you all out there and know always respect everything that's going on right now and taking it in stride and uh, one day at a time that's what we're doing here uh, so thank you all so much for watching have a fantastic week everybody